Bishop, good to see good you. Morning. And uh, this morning, we got a gift from Pope Francis. We got the new encyclical on oh, the environment, right. Laudato Si. And um, seems to be a little bit of a controversy about it because uh, some people are saying, why is the Pope getting involved in uh, scientific theory? Why doesn't he stick to theology? What's our response to that? Well, you have to look at the moral content of the encyclical. Yes, the science can be debated, but moral, con moral issues cannot be really debated. We have a responsibility for the environment. Mm -hmm. Right from the book of Genesis, God puts the whole of creation into the hands of men and women, and we have to treat it well. It's mm -hmm. God's gift to us. So uh, truly, uh, you have to distinguish between uh, the scientific issues and the moral issues. Um, maybe the, the, the uh, scientific issues may not be conclusive, it may be wrong, but the moral issues are correct. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the, what's the moral issue the Pope's trying to get at? He's trying yeah. to say that there's a connectedness between all of creation and we've got a responsibility well, of course, for it. We, that we have a responsibility to take care of creation. It goes right back to the book of Genesis. It mm -hmm. isn't something we invented yesterday. Yeah. It's clear that this is our responsibility to take care of the world in which we live. Because why? Because of human life. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's nice to preserve plant life and uh, endangered species, but w what it's all about is human life. We need mm -hmm. to have a world in which human life can thrive. Mm -hmm. And the Pope makes that point later on in the encyclical. He says that you can't care for all of creation and not care about human life right from the first moment of conception. That's so true. He says that he brings abortion up. He mentions it as, as, as an evil that has to be consistent with your care for right. all of creation. Yeah, it's clear that, you know, unfortunately today the most... Uh, difficult environment for a human to survive in is the is a woman's womb with a million abortions in the United States and worldwide I don't even know what the number is so mm -hmm. that's is that an endangerment that's environmental endangerment mm -hmm. that's that's something we have to deal with as mm -hmm. well as the external environment yeah when he he talks about uh, you know climate control and he talks about the dangers to water air pollution and how do we see that around us? I mean, are we missing that? Uh, you know, are, are we? He also talks about consuming too much. That people consume too much. We eat too much. We dispose of garbage in uh, careless ways. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do we? You, you know, <laughs> again, there's a lot there. There's a lot to digest. Maybe you can say it simply: less is more. Uh, in in many many ways, it's so true. Uh, again, it's the little things that make a difference. Uh, the carbon f footprint issue that, you know, how much do you consume? Uh, how much uh, do we pollute the air by using uh, fo fossil fuels, uh, gasoline? And we don't use coal in our homes anymore, but we use it in industry to generate electricity. So these are all concerns. And uh, um, we have to look at what we can do as individuals. And Clearly, I mean, I'll tell you a little example. I mean, in the morning, if I, I run the shower because the water doesn't get warm right away, I have a bucket underneath, I collect the water, I use that to water the plants. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit of something, but mm -hmm. it makes me in, uh, cognizant that don't waste water. It's, it's a precious commodity. Right now in our part of the world, we have uh, right now enough water for us, but the rest of the world is, is suffering from that. We have to invent uh, new ways. We have to desalinate uh, seawater. I don't know why people don't do that when these, all these areas are uh, dying for water that needs to be done. We need to help poor countries do that so that they can survive. Mm -hmm. is, uh, is the Pope addressing, um, he, the bishops say that he's calling people to dialogue, that he's trying to call the entire world to dialogue. Is he calling for more governmental programs to come in and take over? Or, or is it, as you're saying, more personal responsibility to be aware of? Well, uh, some of it is addressed to governmental issues, but I think more personal, more personal moral issues that we have to deal with the, to do our part to share the goods of the world uh, with everybody. The, the, the universal destination of human goods is not the individual, but it, it's a common good. And that's mm -hmm. where we have to understand our, our uh, Moral theology comes to that basis. There's a common good, and we have to participate, be in solidarity with others, share what we have with other people. How do you hope the diocese will react to this encyclical? Have you uh, asked the priest to preach about it? or? Well, again, it's too soon, but I, yesterday I had a meeting with the uh, women religious, and they're very anxious to do something about it. So I do think there's going to be a tremendous amount of, issue, uh, of interest in this, so we're going to have to do some workshops teach people about it better so they can preach, so they can do actual uh, uh, projects perhaps based on this. So mm -hmm. we will be working on it. 
uh, I guess it's a topic we're going to be returning to from time to time, That's Bishop. Right. Uh, thanks so much for being with us today. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.